George with Jungle Disk here with a quick video on how to transition your Jungle Disk Plus, Simply Backup, or desktop subscription to our latest workgroup software. The first thing you're going to want to do is export your backup configuration. Go ahead and open up your software and click on Configure. If you don't have it checked, make sure to check Show Advanced Options here on the bottom left. Then go ahead and expand your online disk. If you have multiple backup vaults for other computers, you're going to see them here grayed out. These are the vaults that are connected to those computers, so you're going to want to export those configurations from those computers. Now go ahead and expand your backup vault and select the backup job. You're then going to see the option here, export to file. Let's go ahead and save this onto our desktop for easy access. For the second step, make sure that you're logged into your control panel at secure.junglediss.com. From this page, you're going to want to click on Add User or Server Licenses. You would need to select at least one workgroup license, which is listed for employees. Let's add that to our cart and click Add to Account. Once added, let's go ahead and click on Control Panel up on the top right. Next, click on the drop down where your email address is and click on Domain. Mine's already filled out, but you can use anything as long as it's not already taken. Typically, customers will use their company name or the domain that they use for their email. Once you do that, just click Save Changes. Now you're going to need to set up a user. Go ahead and click on Users here on the top left and go to Manage Users. Enter a username and password for this user. Since this isn't a brand new account, you can uncheck private online disk unless you want to create a new disk with the same name as the user. Then click Create New User. Now you will need to give this user access to the current online disk. Now that this is done, you can download the software and install it on this machine. To do so, let's click on Products up here on the top and go to Jungle Disk Downloads. Since we're upgrading a workgroup, we're going to go ahead and select the View Downloads here, and then download the appropriate software for your computer. I'm currently on a Windows 64-bit, so I'm going to go ahead and download this. Now open the installer and go through the installation, which will require a computer restart. Once back from the reboot, you're going to be presented with the installation wizard. If it doesn't show up, you can launch it from the application start menu. Then we'll go ahead and click next. Enter the domain, username, and password that we set up earlier. Although we are not going to be doing a restore, we're going to go ahead and select that on this screen. Then click next. If you want to map your network drive, you can select the drive letter here and set the cache size, then hit Next. I'm not using any sync folders, so I'm going to skip this step. And then we'll click Finish. Once the configuration completes, you will be prompted where you want to restore from, but you can just cancel out of this screen. Next, we want to import the backup configuration that we saved to our desktop. So from the Activity Monitor, click on Configure, expand the online disk on the left. You should see the backup vault from your previous install grayed out. The vault should have the computer name for the computer it is attached to. Click on the grayed out backup vault and choose Take Over Backup Vault. Once this is done, you will need to expand the online disk again and you'll notice that the backup vault is no longer grayed out. Once clicked, select Import from File, then find that backup file from your desktop that we exported earlier. You will then get a prompt that it was imported successfully and just click OK. 
You are now done switching your desktop backup to Workgroup, and the only thing left is to cancel your legacy subscriptions and uninstall the desktop software on your computer. Now before you do this, if you still have a backup vault that's attached to another computer, you will want to export that backup configuration for those machines before canceling your desktop license. When you're ready, navigate to your control panel and click on Manage Active Licenses. You will see your set of licenses here. You're going to click on Cancel to the right of the ones that say Desktop Edition Monthly. Next, you'll want to uninstall the desktop software from Apps and Features within Windows and you're all set. That concludes this video on how to move from legacy subscriptions to our new workgroup subscriptions. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions or concerns, and please be sure to visit junglediscs.com for more information on how we can ensure that your business is protected.